This video is brought to you by Squarespace. We are almost at the end of our road trip, but there is one more super underrated province in Northern Thailand that we must visit. Join us today as we explore Pechabun, get lost in the misty mountains of Khao Khao, and visit one of the most magical temples in Thailand. We got to Pechabun yesterday, but it was raining the whole day as it should be because it is rainy season in Thailand right now. But we had this small window of opportunity around 5 to 6 p.m. where it stopped raining. So we quickly went to the most famous temple in Pechabun. And here is what we saw. You know what? Thailand keeps surprising me. <laughs> I always say like every temple we went to so far is like the most beautiful temple, yeah. but this one. This one is the most beautiful temple. I have to agree. This is pretty crazy. So we're here at this beautiful temple called Wat Patat Pa Son Gyeo, which is the most famous temple here in the province of Pechabun, specifically in this area called Khao Khao. Pa Son Gyeo means hidden crystal. If you look around, there are like crystal balls everywhere. This crystal ball here mm -hmm. along the wall. I even almost tripped. Come over here. I was taking like B-rolls and I tripped on that clear oh. crystal ball <laughs> on the floor. It actually is quite slippery because it's raining a little bit yeah. and you have to take off your shoes. Mm -hmm. So you, yeah, you have to be careful when you come here. I read a little bit more about the temple and actually the whole crystal ball thing came about because villagers that live around this mountain, they used to see this crystal in the air just like shoot past and it would go into a cave that is on this mountain and they thought it was the Buddha's spirit. So this place became very auspicious, very lucky, and that's how they built this temple here. It was built in 2004 to be a meditation center, but driving up here, we kind of noticed that it's been really developed now. There is a lot of accommodations popping up. There's lots of cafes and some restaurants. So it probably is really hard for people to like quietly meditate mm -hmm. here now. <laughs> it's kind of became a tourist hotspot for uh, Pechabun. So if this place is lucky, does it mean we need to get a lottery? Oh yeah, I saw people selling lotteries just outside. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find out what is upstairs? Uh, there's a reclining Buddha. Unfortunately, they closed already. But, but that's okay. The highlight is outside. <laughs> Let's go check out the um, actual temple over there. Okay. The temple is pretty incredible too. I've never seen a temple with all these colorful like mosaics. They use pieces of broken maybe bottles or glass or crystals. I'm not sure. It's but like a mix of different materials. Yeah, ceramics. Mm -hmm. A beautiful look. There's no actual pattern to it. Mm -hmm. It's just so random. It makes it so special. Yeah, it's so colorful. Some of it does look like bottles, doesn't it? This part is so cool. They have all these tiny teacups that they broke the pieces. And some are still whole. These are like cup lids, right? Mm -hmm. And look at the details on it. <laughs> wow, and crystal ball. Yeah, wrap it for good luck. more than just a beautiful temple in Pechabun. We are actually headed towards a campsite where we booked a tiny cabin for the night. But before we get there, we are going to stop at this scenic spot that has lots of windmills. I love Thailand, there's always someone guiding you, 
show you how to park. <laughs> we are so lucky because once we parked our car, the weather cleared up and it's looking pretty good. Do you think we can go close to the windmill? I'm not sure, like walking distance. I don't think you can. I think that's why the ticket booth there might be like a buggy or something like that. Oh yeah, there's a tram and also a ATV for rent. Which can you go we... buy ATV? I don't know, let's go find it. Okay. <laughs> so you have to buy the ticket 60 baht per person to take the tram up to the hill. They stop at four different viewpoints. Oh, okay. You can walk up to, but you can only walk up to a certain viewpoint because after that it gets muddy because oh. of all the rain. But you can also rent ATV. But let me check how much it is. what's up here we see a lot of strawberry fields we see people growing tomatoes there's also some campsites that are up in this area but mostly it just seems like an agricultural area there's also a small village behind us but it's definitely more fun going on the ATV than the tram a lot of people came by with the tram and they did not seem as impressed <laughs> as we do but you also probably would get a little bit dirty i can already see like my feet my shoes are all dirty but it's okay it's part of the fun okay you want to try to drive yes this is the on and off mm -hmm. so it's on right now and you press that to start there you go you good wait, 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 wait. what are these buttons and this button and this button those are lights and horns you don't need oh, them okay yeah you just need to know how to accelerate and, and brakes. Oh, easy. <laughs> All right. to say a quick thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for making it super easy for us to manage our website while we travel. We often use the Squarespace app to check our traffic analytics and to make style changes to our website. Knowing that Squarespace has a built-in responsive design means our website will look good on any device. No matter if you're starting an online store or a small business or building your digital resume, you'll find an award-winning template to suit your purpose. Just head over to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash flora and note to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to the video. We are here at a Tanwa campsite. Note is just checking in over there. The view is amazing here. Come, she will show us our room. Okay. <laughs> the sun rises from here. Oh, <gasps> nice. You like you're gonna wake up for it? <laughs> Maybe. It might be worth it. We're usually so lazy we don't do sunrises anymore. <laughs> These are the tents, but they're also kind of shaded, so I guess you don't actually get wet, which is nice because you can sit outside. I'm gonna take a peek. Yeah, you can just sit outside there and chill. This is us. This uh, cabin here? Mm -hmm. Oh, cute! Wow! If it doesn't rain, we can uh, set up the fire and grill marshmallows. <gasps> yes! And they have a cooler here. Um, all set with ice and stuff. Oh, Were we good. supposed to bring drinks or we can buy them? 
แล้วเครื่องดื่มล่ะครับมีขายค่ะอ๋อโอเคโอเคอันนี้เป็นกุญแจมีปัญหาอะไรก็โทรขึ้นไปเลยนะคะโอเคครับขอบคุณมากค่ะ This is so cute It feels so private It does Time for a room tour so this room tour is going to be real quick because this is a very tiny cabin. <laughs> First we have a nice storage area just over here and also a little table. They do give you a kettle and also some hot drinks. And if we want to order more food, we can order from the food menu. There's also a nice seating area on this side and we are pretty surprised that it has an AC unit. I thought it might be a fan because it's really not hot up here in the mountains. Behind me is the washroom. So it's just a tiny washroom. The toilet, mirror, sink, a little stainless steel shower. The toilet does smell a little damp, but there is a window there, so just make sure to shut the door. One thing though, she said because the hot water here, they use gas. Mm -hmm. So when we shower, we should leave the window on. Just in case, oh, so we don't safety. trap the gas mm -hmm. in here. Makes sense. But the highlight of this room is our bed because we have the most amazing view of the mountains, and we get to wake up to that tomorrow. Unfortunately, it just started raining, so we're gonna chill here. Hopefully, the rain stops, so we'll be able to make marshmallows tonight. And I can fly my drone. Yeah. tonight is shabu and for those of you who haven't had it before basically it is just a soy sauce based soup and we're gonna dip some pork slices in there and also there's a ton of vegetables eggs and also some noodles green noodles it's pretty much Japanese hot pot yeah you um, call it different things in different places but yeah shabu is what we call it here in Thailand. So many campsites in Thailand, you're going to find either Shabu or Mugata. Something different because yeah. we had Mugata in Chiang Dao yeah. already. <laughs> can throw in some of the stuff. This is perfect because we haven't had veggies in a while. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of vegetables.
sleep well? Yeah, it was uh, really nice and cold in there. Not cold, I would say cool. And we didn't even turn on the AC. It was really nice. It kind of felt like Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the cabin living in Canada. Yeah. And the shower, probably one of the best showers oh. we had. Because we got so smoky yesterday after making s'mores. <laughs> I was so happy to have a hot shower to kind of clean up before bed and it was it was really nice. This kind of makes me feel like we could do tiny home living or even van life. Mm -hmm. It's nice to have like a small but very functional space. Yeah. So we haven't shared the price of the accommodation yet. How much did we pay? We paid 3,650 baht, which is roughly around 95 US dollars. And in the price, it includes breakfast and also dinner, which is the hot pot chabu we had last night. I would say we're both pretty impressed with Pechabun. It is now my <laughs> top three provinces in Thailand. Like least visited yeah, provinces, right? Yeah, like, right? like the underrated provinces. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. It has like that beautiful temple that we went to, but also just driving around this area, like driving to Khao Khao. Yeah. It's a huge mountain range and very beautiful. And if you enjoy the outdoors, if you enjoy nature and camping, then you have tons of choices for that in this area. We hope you enjoyed exploring Pechabun with us. As always, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Oh wait, have a wonderful day! Have a wonderful we'll day! We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! Bloopers! One thing about Pechabun though, babe, is full of hidden cameras. <laughs> okay, so the other day we were driving on one of the main highways. We stopped there to take a uh, photo, a drone shot of the temple. And then suddenly there was th these guys in an umbrella, like hiding under the umbrella in the rain, snapping photos. So we just had to ask, like, what were they doing? <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird because we see like these cameras camping out like every 300 meters. Yeah. Taking photos of the cars. It I'm must guessing. be for people with like really nice fancy cars. Like why would I want a photo of us in this Mitsubishi? <laughs>